Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to make a custom photo calendar. First you'll go to our website, createphotocalendars.com, and then you'll want to hit this get started link, and you'll come to this page here. And then here you have two ways you can make your calendar. You can either make it online using our new Easy Studio software product, or you can download our software if you want more customization and more control. Uh, but today for this uh, demo I'm going to show you how to make it online using our new Easy Studio creator. Okay, just so to get started, uh, click this create online button. And then you'll come to this screen. And then here's the startup screen where you can choose what type of calendar you want to make. You can choose wall, CD case, and uh, soon we'll be releasing the annual calendar. But for today I'm going to show you how to make a wall calendar. And then uh, you can give it a name. And then uh, I'm going to start my calendar in January of 2012. You could choose any starting month, any starting year. Then you have some options down here too. You could choose your font size. I'm going to keep it at medium. Uh, you could choose your font style. I probably want to do something a little bit more formal looking, so I'm going to use this Georgia style font. Then uh, for holidays too, it's really neat with our software is you can uh, automatically display USA holidays. You now can also automatically display the holiday clip art. So if you check this, It'll show like a little pumpkin for Halloween, uh, maybe a champagne bottle for uh, New Year's Eve, um, a shamrock on St. Patrick's Day, stuff like that. Kind of makes it more fun. Um, also, I'm going to show my moon face phases clip art by checking this box on. So now we're all set there. I'm going to choose next. Now here you can uh, set the initial theme for your calendar, the initial design. So up here you have your different design choices. Once you find one that you kind of like. We'll use the dots to kind of make it kind of fun. Uh, you could choose your color scheme here. So this is uh, vibrant. Here you have earth tones, um, sunset. If you're making one for like a boy or a girl, like of your daughter, of your son, uh, this would be a good one, the girly one for uh, your daughter or boy. We have a couple more options here too. So we're just going to use the default one, which is vibrant. And uh, next, we're going to choose photos. So here you can add photos by clicking this button. And then once you're in here, you can shift click to control more than or the, to select more than one photo at a time. It kind of speeds things up. So you could select one of these and hit open, but I'm going to select all of these by clicking the first one, and then holding down shift, then selecting the last one, and it selects all the photos here. And you hit open. Now you can see that it's actually processing them processing them and it's uploading them to our server so you can work on your project online. Now what's nice with our software too is uh, you don't have to wait for the software to uh, load all your pictures to start working on it. You can start working on it immediately. You hit the continue and you can still see that your pictures are being uploaded in the background here. Okay so now you're ready to start making your calendar. This is the fun part. So you got your pictures down here. You got your different months here. So I can show you how that looks. Uh, you slide the slider over, you can see the different months cycling through. And you get to the back cover. So first we'll, uh, we'll work on our cover. So I'm going to use this photo for the cover. So you simply just drag it to the cover and drop it. Then it automatically resizes and recenters the picture in the layout here. And what's really cool with this software, what we did is uh, we want to make it really easy for you to see your pictures in different layouts. So we created this tool down here that when you shift or uh, when you click on it, you can see your picture in various layouts. So it makes it a lot more fun. It's a lot faster than uh, dragging a certain layout and seeing how it looks. This way you can just see how it looks. You can go back to like, oh, you wanted that one. You can go back and select that one too. So we'll, uh, we'll choose this one here. You can name your caption, which is the title for the cover here. We'll call it Our Family Calendar. 12, hit save, and now you can see that your uh, caption or title for the cover here is displayed. Now next we'll work on January. January we'll uh, drag these pool and beach uh, pictures I have down here. So you could drag one at a time up to here. Well, I'll show you another trick to save time. You can uh, control click these two or, or highlight a bunch of the rows. So I'll click this one and I'm going to shift and hold on shift and select all these. So now I'll highlight all of them. I'll drag all four up at once. Now you can see how it's going to automatically position all the photos by the center of the photo. 
So here we got to adjust a little bit. So I'm simply just going to select this photo and drag it down a little bit. Now that looks perfect. Now uh, their heads are getting chopped off. So once again, I'm going to adjust this photo just by dragging it down. Okay, now that looks good. Now we're going to go to our next month. Uh, we'll go to February. February, uh, maybe we'll choose this dog. Okay, now I'm going to show you another feature that's really neat with this software. You can uh, you can change the background here to better match your photo. So you, you can choose uh, just a background color or a background design or our new favorite stuff that we're doing now is these transparent backgrounds. So I'm going to go in there. And now these transparent backgrounds are loading up over here. So now you can see different backgrounds. You see how it's changing here. Let's go back to the top and use this one here. What's really neat though is when you drag, when you put your cursor over your picture, it turns into a color picker. So you could change your background color to match a color on your photo, which is awesome because it makes it look like it almost was made for your photo that you have inserted into your uh, month. So now you can see how that brown looks a lot better than the red because it matches the color of your photo. I'll show you that once again. Uh, we'll work on March now. So March, uh, let's find some more photos here. Uh, here's some that have like some green in them. So we'll put these three, uh, two boys and this girl together. So you can see right away how fast it changes and how, how fast it shows you a layout. Um, you can see here that the boys are getting chopped off because it's kind of a landscape picture. No problem, we'll just go through the layout and see if we can find one that matches. Right away this one looks better. Uh, let's keep going here. That one looks real nice. This one works really well because it's such a long photo on the top, such a wide photo. So uh, it accommodates the both boys and the dog and then uh, these work well too. So you can tell that the uh, the background is kind of a bright green. So I think we're going to tone it down a bit to match uh, probably this boy's shirt. Once again, we'll hit the background here. Now I'm going to drag it over. Here's where the magic starts to happen. You can see how I get the color picker again. I'm matching it to the boy's shirt. Maybe you want some of this boy's green on his shirt. We'll go back to his and then uh, select that, select apply. Now you can see how this background really matches uh, with his shirt. All right, so I'll show you this again. Uh, we'll select, I'll show you how it works. Uh, let me remove these quick. I'll show you one more time how that works. So if you want to drag one at a time, you can do that too. So it puts it in a one layout or a one image layout. Drag another one up there, automatically switches it to a two image layout, and uh, it will just keep going. So it's super fast, super powerful, but uh, obviously we're going to put the camping person somewhere else. These kids, uh, we'll just keep a wedding couple. So now let's go through the layouts. Um, this one looks pretty cool. So then what you could do is uh, there's a lot of space around here, so you can zoom in the layout and make it bigger just by hitting this plus button. And or you can back it off, zoom it out. Another nice feature too is uh, you can cycle the images. So if you want this image over here, you just hit cycle. It, switch, uh, it flips them back. Another thing too is uh, you can flip out photos from one month to another. So if you want the girl over here and, a, and this couple over here, you can do that. Simply so just drag them over. You can see how they flip back and forth. So that makes it a lot easier to design your calendar. All right, so this background, once again, it's uh, not really matching right, so let's go fix that. So we'll make it more formal. Uh, this is more of a formal kind of layout. Uh, I'm going to choose a green. I think that'll uh, accent the pictures very well. The flowers here. So now you can see how this uh, matches the pictures of the flowers and uh, it just kind of blends a lot better with these two photos selected in this layout. So now you can preview your calendar to see the uh, designs and the, and the things that you've done to it so far. Uh, up here you click your preview button. So now you can see your, your uh, calendar. You can see the top page and the bottom page and then down here you can see the clip art that it added and also uh, the little clip art icons that it added to the grid as well, which we selected when we actually uh, created the calendar. Uh, here's March. You can see the, the boy and the girl. 
February the dog is January. It takes a little bit of time to load up sometimes. But uh, February, you can see, uh, you can zoom it in too if you want to see it in more detail. Now you can see how we uh, had the groundhog. Valentine's Day has a little heart on it, Lincoln's birthday, and so forth. So a lot of fun. Uh, real easy to make your own custom photo counter with uh, Create Photo Counter's new Easy Studio Counter Creator. Then uh, when you're done making your calendar, simply uh, you can save and then create your account. And then uh, you click the order button, tell us how many you want to print. And uh, most orders are printed within one to two business days. And uh, so you'll usually receive your order in about three to five days. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found this uh, software demonstration helpful. And thank you for watching.